Hi, right, Brad. Uh, we are here in South Dakota checking out the uh, power facility. I'm going to say this right now. Uh, it's a pretty nice facility. Yeah, one of the, one of the top notch ones in the nations for sure. Yeah. You're a wrestling guy. You have a wrestling background. Oh, yeah. What are you guys doing with the athletes today? Uh, we're going to put them through a bunch of testing. So physical testing. We're going to test their power, acceleration, quickness, um, and anaerobic endurance. We're going to do their body fat testing. We're going to do a sweat test on them. We're going to check their hydration levels. Um, just put them through a whole gamut of tests that one of, um, a lot of a lot of people in the nation don't get to do except for if you come to Sanford and Legends of Gold, so. Looking at, you know, this facility, it's incredible, and you're, they're gonna get information that, if it would have been available to you as a, you know, a student athlete when you wrestled, how valuable would it have been to, be, you know, train more healthy, replace, you know, replenish your body, how important is that to them? And, you know, as a resource, some of you would have had as a kid, yeah. probably yeah. would have been pretty important, but what can they do with that information? Yeah, basically, um, you don't have any excuses no more. If you want to be the top wrestler in the nation, you come to Sanford, you come to LOG, and we're doing testing and um, we're putting them through training that, that you can't do anywhere um, around the area here. So, um, like I said, we're doing um, physical testing, we're doing um, research with these guys, and um, it's not done everywhere that you go. Wrestlers are crazy and biased. I am. I know that. You wrestled. Um, you guys do a ton of sports here, it looks like. Yeah, we do, we do them all. Yeah, Is it yeah. the toughest sport? For sure, for sure. I love training wrestlers because they, they grind and they give 120 every time they come out. So um, I don't like training basketball players because the mentality is just different. It's like a whole different ball game training wrestlers. So those, those, those guys are my, are my favorite to train because so, they come ready to grind every day. So Can we look at the other part of the facility yep, real quick? Yep. All right, cool. I'll let you weigh these guys in. I'll get out of your hair. So you guys have, what is this full uh, field house to my left? So basically we have a full, basically a little bit wider than a football field with the turf and it's 100 yards long. Um, we have four quadrants that we have here. We do a lot of our training on this quadrant here and then we rent out for other sports and baseball, football, um, whatever, soccer um, throughout the year, especially in the winter it's hopping, summertime it's hopping. Um, when obviously when it gets cold outside, everybody comes inside to train. So, How many treadmills, racks, and everything else do you have here? Yeah, I mean, we got basically what you see is what you get. We believe in free weight training, so we don't see a lot of machines. We do, we got racks, we got platforms, we got dumbbells. Um, so when you're wrestling, you're up on your feet. We're not sitting in some machine doing some movements. Or whatever. We're up on our feet doing explosive, dynamic um, movements here. So... Well, hey, man, thanks for the uh, thanks for the tour and what these guys are doing. Yeah. I, uh, I'm excited to see how the uh, research comes out for these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Thanks a lot.